I'm gonna be showing you how to complete the Warden of Nothing Grandmaster Nightfall through an easy boss cheese so you can get exotics, masterwork materials and the Nightfall weapon fast. This week's Nightfall is the Warden of Nothing strike and in this strike there'll be all three types of champions as well as void and solar shields. Firstly for your build I'd recommend to have 100 resilience as it's buffed this season so you'll have a 40% resist to all incoming damage in PvE and for your mods you can definitely use an elemental well build as you can easily get an insane ability regen and another option is to use a charge with light build and some of the great charge of light mods are striking light reactive pulse and protective light for your loadout i recommend to use arbalus with a solar scout rifle such as staccato or even a solar smg such as callus mini tool and this will be a great option as there will be a solar singe for the strike and you can combine these weapons with a linear fusion rifle such as storm chaser or even the threaded needle but another option is a rocket launcher such as the haze and vengeance time loss version but if you don't have that you can just use the normal version of the weapon another loadout can be the nightwatch scout rifle with the retrace path trace rifle as well as the galahorn rocket launcher and if you're a hunter the best subclass to use is mobius quiver with omni oculus trapper's ambush and vanishing step or you could also use blade barrage with either the star eater scales exotic or the aeon swift and you can combine this with the knock em down and the on your mark aspects if you're a warlock you can use a well with phoenix protocol or aeon soul combined with icarus dash and touch of flame you could also use a stasis warlock to be able to freeze enemies and make this strike a lot easier and if you're a titan you can use the ward of dawn with the heart of inmost light exotic as well as bastion and control demolition but you could also use the thunder crash super with the curious of the falling star exotic also before you do the boss cheese make sure to kill the champions and most of the ads in the arena as it'll make it a lot easier to be able to do the boss cheese for the boss cheese spot you can jump on the barrier as shown on the screen then you can jump to this area and once you're in the spot make sure to not go too far backwards as it will say joining allies on your screen and from this position you can damage the boss and you can move to a certain point on the roof of the arena so you won't take any solar damage i hope you found this video useful make sure to like and subscribe for more destiny 2 content thanks for watching